So as an option for your heart rate, um, we're going to be looking at uh, a Garmin uh, heart rate band. And um, yeah, I've used this now for a, um, a while and I don't use it all the time. It is quite an accurate piece of kit to wear, but it's not the best. I find the fit is actually not the best. Um, so what you're gonna find is if you've got a bigger chest, um, I've got a 42 inch chest. Um, so what I find is that it doesn't quite fit right um, there. If you're a female um, and with a big chest, um, you're gonna struggle to wear this band as well. It's got sensors um, around the band itself, but I find it, as you can see, it's, it's quite um, restrictive, so I'd probably need to get a larger band, but um, you know, this is a, I think this is a medium to large, um, so, and I kind of struggle with um, the band. Um, it is accurate, I do prefer to use um, the watch, but it can't help to have this kit. So I think if you if you like the feel of it, I mean I don't particularly uh, like the feel of it as you can see there. Um, doesn't exactly feel um, the best, but you do get a more accurate um, heart rate with this. So I think if you can, um, definitely worth picking one up. They can be I think this was around forty pounds. Um, it's not expensive, but you know it's it's an additional piece of kit that you have to spend um, as well. So just bear that in mind. So it's not the most comfortable thing in the whole entire world, um, but it's not.